Hi, this is Richard Murray with another session of Parking Lot Theology. I want to talk to you today about a very well-known verse where Jesus talks about binding and loosing. He basically says, and here we're talking about in Matthew, in the book of Matthew, in Matthew 16, 19, and Matthew 18, 18, he says that whatever things you bind or loose on earth shall be bound and loose in heaven. Well, that is a complete uh, wrong construction of the Greek of that text. In the Greek, what Jesus is actually saying, whatsoever things you bind or loose on earth shall be, having already been bound or loosed in heaven. So when we make that, all, that tweak to that passage, it really changes the entire meaning. No longer do we have to try to sit here and try to change God's will and try to change God's purposes. How many times have you heard people just, you know, in, in fully tense and uh, just um, horribly devastated and desperate saying, we've got to change God's will. Let's travail to make God move, to make God do something. And that's just like they did in the Old Testament. And they were wrong when they did it then. You know, when Moses would say, or David would say, God, repent of your will, repent of the evil that you intend to do as if we were more merciful than God. No, it's not about that. What it's about, it's not about changing God's mind. It's about us changing our mind, for our mind to come into alignment with heaven, for our hearts to come into alignment with heaven. And a very good way to think about this is to look at ourselves as buds, you know, as buds on a plant that have not yet blossomed. But what we're called to do is blossom, to bring blossoming into every situation where God's will can, can penetrate, the light can penetrate the darkness. So what we walk around binding and loosing, what is it we're binding? We're binding darkness. We're binding every form of darkness. Um, and despair and hopelessness, and we're loosing blessing. You know, the word blessing means fine speaking, all right? So we go around by fine speaking, by being tender with our hearts, by, by doing acts of loving kindness for people, uh, by sharing with them the truths of God. We are unfurling heaven's will, and that's a beautiful thing. Heaven, And the good news about heaven's will is that it's in us. Christ lights every man, every woman who comes into the earth, John 1 says. So the, this, and the, a good way to think about the light of God that's in us is is as a furled up flag. I don't know if you've ever seen a military funeral where they take a flag and they furl it up into, in, until it's just a little triangle. And you can tell it's a flag by looking at it, but you can only see a part of it. You, you, you can't see the whole thing. And at, when it's unfolded and furled up on a flagpole, then the thing becomes majestic. It's wide. It's beautiful. It's flowing in the wind. But our challenge is that we're here waiting to be unfurled. Our flag, the flag of light, the Lord's standard of light that's in us is, is waiting to be unfurled. And the more our hearts and minds cooperate, with that unfurling, the quicker it goes and the, and the broader the flag is unfurled. But the more we resist and oppose it and present friction to it, then the slower that process occurs. Now, the good news is that sooner or later, everyone's going to be unfurled into that majestic standard of God, uh, Jehovah Nisi, the Lord, my victory banner. All right. We're all headed that way. But, but we also, uh, we're not only individual flags that are triangled up, um, waiting to be unfurled, but we're also a corporate flag. The body in, in that there's a flag that the whole body of and bride of Christ is going to form. That's going to be a magnificent flood of a flag uh, that covers the earth in goodness and love and healing and curative energies going everywhere. So the bottom line with all this is that this is a game changer. Understanding this passage the way it was written. So when we look at each other, even when we look at, at, at men who appear to be evil or men who appear to be false. Uh, and um, liars or whatever. We've all been there and been, we've both been lied and lied to, okay? Uh, we've lied and been lied to. So, but if we start looking at each other as precious buds of the kingdom of God, we can be buds as in buddies, but we can also be buds, co-buds on, on, the, on, the on the righteous tree of the knowledge of life, which is what God has called us to be. So just uh, meditate on the concept of unfurling and on blossoming and then understand that our power, we, we are the spigots that release heaven's will into earth. And the beautiful thing about this, one other thing, is uh, Jesus c has already done all this. Jesus has, has uh, through his life and ascension to heaven and tearing off the gates of hell, uh, and descending and then leading captivity captive. And then uh, Colossians 2, 15, 13 and 15 in there, it talks about how he how he uh, has a victory parade on the way back up to his ascension where he's, he's uh, uh, disarmed all the powers of principalities of darkness.
godliness. He's had a victory parade. He's ripped off their authority. So everything for life and godliness has been provided for us in heaven. And Jesus is heaven. His divine nature is heaven. And Peter talks about the divine nature of us being partakers of that divine nature. And as that, and as we partake of it, it blossoms out of us. You know, you become what you eat. I had a brother tell me the other day that he's convinced of what we, um, uh, that we become what we eat in the spirit. You know, and Jesus said we're to consume him and then we become like him. If we consume carnality, then we become like that. But at any rate, binding and loosing uh, has to do with us merely blossoming forth the kingdom of heaven. We can rest. We can abide in the Sabbath rest of God because it's already been accomplished. You know, a, a, a blossom doesn't sit there and, me and, and make itself blossom. All it does is it, as we expose it to sunlight and water, then it does it naturally. And as we expose ourselves to the water uh, to the water of God, uh, to the spirit of God, and to the sunlight of God, the S-O-N light of God, then we blossom naturally. So anyhow, hope that blesses you. Thanks.